got here today is two HD 35s and they're both customs but they're HD 35s uh, this one now that I'm looking at it let me make sure it's an HD 35 yeah it is it's got about three piece back uh, the difference on this one black binding and that's what threw me for a second I'm thinking huh yeah it doesn't say it on there it just says custom shop there's a three piece back um, Scallop bracing. This one has a 35 sunburst on it. <clears throat> both of these guitars, I put Evo frets on so that they last forever. They're both brand new. One of them, I don't know which one it is. This one, I think, is absolutely brand new. And the other one's got a little bit of play time, if I remember. Anyway, I put Evo frets on them because that's what the customer wanted. Uh, he plays with a pretty hard right hand, so he wants a high action. The action's like a... 105 low E down to about 85 thousandths of an inch of an high E. It's too high for me. Uh, it's too high for me to play it comfortably, but um, there it is. Um, this one's pretty. I like I like this one better. I like the dark sunburst, um, the herringbone, black binding. And this one's just a uh, nice, pretty guitar. I like this one. I like the amber burst too. That's this one. This one's got a more traditional 35 with a white binding, um, three-piece back again, and scallop bracing. They're pretty much the same guitar. They've got different pins in them right now. This one's got bone pins, white pins to go with the white binding. This one's got black pins to go with the black binding. This one has water buffalo horn. This one's got bone. I doubt that makes much difference because both bone and water buffalo horn are a little bit on the brighter side of materials. And, um, gosh, that's about it. I put Evo frets on this one. I shaved the, uh, the two rear back braces on both of them to let the backs vibrate a little bit more. But that's really all I did to them. And just set up on them, checked the nuts. I made shadows for both of them, adjusted the actions. I made two shadows for this guitar. Um, this one here has two shadows, too. It's got an original and... Maybe I have that backwards. Anyways, one of these guitars has two saddles, so that he can um, play with the action a little bit. Both of them have K and K vintage jacks installed. I did this one. Someone else did this one. That's why I, this one's got some play time, just a little bit of play time. I did the pick guard on this one, and this one I believe is a Luthier's Mercantile pick guard. I'm not positive about that, but so there they are. 35s, I've got one and three quarter inch necks with the uh, the modern low profile thing. And uh, hard for me to tell you about the neck because the action's kind of high, so the whole guitar just feels uh, stiff for me. But I like this one. <laughs> I like the dark sunburst. This one's pretty too. This one has herringbone. Yeah. So I don't know anything about these guitars. It's just an unusual chance to have uh, HD35s in the stock. I, I don't think I've had it ever an HD35 in here. And here's two of them. So that's why I recorded them back to back. And, and I'm taking them home this week. So they're fun. Evo frets are going to last forever. Um, they're good to go. I'm not a big fan of the HD35. Because I feel like, um, you know, a D35 has already got one quarter inch bracing as opposed to a D28, which is 5 sixteenths, a little bit bigger. And so I'm not a big fan of scalloping them to make them base here. I personally will, won't scallop um, D35s. I've had lots of requests to do, do that, and I, and I won't do it. Because D35s are already basic enough. It's just not the sound that I want, and I don't want to be responsible um, if the top belly's on one. And these tops are good, you know, because they're brand new. And given 10 years, we'll see. They should be fine, you know. I mean, it's just I'm pretty conservative on my bracing. And it's not the sound I'm looking for. I'm looking for a much, much more, more trouble. Much more mid-range, much more bite. Uh, I've gotten to where, you know, I even start to like some non scallop bracing. But I, I, want, a, I want a strong mid-range and I want a lot of trouble. 
and then the bass is just going to kind of take care of itself for me. So I don't like real bassy guitars uh, for my purposes. They make great rhythm guitars and that sort of thing. You know, that's just my personal preference, but I like this one. I like this one. Look wise, you know. All right, I'm done with them. I'm going to pack them up. Take them home.